Ten months after being convicted of misconduct from Delaware... Former Delaware State Auditor Kathy McGinnis is alleging misconduct by the people who prosecuted her. Coast TV News' Mallory Metzner is in the newsroom. McGinnis says that the top brass at the Department of at the Delaware Department of Justice defamed her and more. Charlie, Kathy McGinnis was found guilty of three misdemeanor charges of misconduct in July 2022. In these court documents, she says the case against her was built on false statements and half-truths, so much so she believes her constitutional rights were violated. In July 2022, Kathy McGinnis was found guilty of misdemeanors, conflict of interest, official misconduct, and structuring a contract to avoid a procurement rule. McGinnis has long maintained her innocence and now fighting back in the courtroom. In this civil lawsuit filed Tuesday, McGinnis says Delaware Attorney General Kathy Jennings and now former director of the Division of Civil Rights and Public Trust, Mark Denny, slandered her, claiming the two lied about McGinnis's political payments to a consulting group. The Department of Justice defended its actions, telling Coast TV News, quote, We've heard this tirade before. It was rejected and she was convicted by a jury of her peers. But McGinnis's attorney says Chief Investigator Frank Robinson knowingly provided false information in a sworn affidavit violating her constitutional rights. McGinnis's attorney questioning the legality of one search warrant. The lawsuit calls his conduct, quote, riddled with half-truths and false statements. The DOJ calls this lawsuit, quote, another sad, desperate, and wasteful attempt by the ex-auditor to change the consequences of her actions. McGinnis is demanding a jury trial, compensatory damages, and for her legal fees to be covered. I just spoke to McGinnis's attorney on the phone and he says, quote, that the public is owed by prosecutors, prosecution in good faith, and that's not what happened here. McGinnis appealed her criminal sentencing in November 2022. And according to this complaint, that appeal is still pending and an oral argument is scheduled for September 20th. Maddie Charlie, back to you.